I probably don't need to. <laughs> All right, first off, uh, who in here, if you can, please, if you drove a summer school route, can you stand up? Come on. If you drove a summer school route at all, please stand up. You got it now? How about this? I would like to thank all of you who helped us during summer school. Thank you. All right, so the CDL license. Y'all know I, I am the one who takes and bugs you about your license, your physical, calling you in to go uh, donate some of your bodily fluids down there at the drug screens. Uh, so I'm going to go over a few things on this. Your license, most of us have renew, had our license renewed now. It's, it's very few getting hit. So after everybody cycles through, we probably won't have to have anybody renewing until for about another six years, which would be good. Uh, of course, we are still reimbursing. If you do have to go down, it's, you know, it's up to $84. And then when you get your paper copy, please bring that to me. And then when you get your hard copy, please bring that to me too, because that has to go into y'all's driver files. DOT physicals, you know, I will send out a message, ask you normally if you want to do it in the office or at dog packs. That's our two options. And those are, and that is what we have to have dedicated to be done. On your physicals, if you're healthy and are lucky enough, you can still get a two-year physical. The majority of us are still on a one year. So the underlying conditions is what causes that. So if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, sleep apnea, uh, there's a whole list of stuff that could put you on a one year physical. If you have high blood pressure and the doctor wants you on medication, please take it. Because when you go down there and you're, and you're thinking, oh, I'm good, I don't need to take it, and all of a sudden your blood pressure is real high, and they go, well, we can't give you a physical. You're, you're at that point, you can't drive. If you're lucky enough to get a 30-day extension, you might be able to get your blood pressure down, but you need to take that medicine. Same thing for your diabetes. If you're diabetic and they got you on medication, take it. Because if your A1C goes above a nine, and you think you're going to get your, your sugar down in 30 days, that ain't happening. Because that's based over 90 days. And in sleep apnea, if you have a machine and a doctor puts you on it, you have to use it. When you go to do your physical, they're going to ask for that 30-day report that comes off that machine, and it tells them exactly how many hours you've been using that every night. If not, that's another 30 days you're going to have to wait to get your physical. So please, if they've got you doing any of this, let's just go ahead and do it. That way it's easier to keep your physicals up to date. The random drug screens. Under the Federal Motor Carriers, we are required to do random drug screens. We have to do four a year. So for us, we only got a nine month school year, so that's four within nine months. And we have to do 25% is what's required. We've got just over 100 drivers, so that's at least 20 going down every time. We have also had to add the monitors to that list because it says any safety sensitive function. So we deal with children, so the monitors had to be included that as well. They have to send four or a quarter down as well. We don't send the four. I send that down to UPIC. They send me back a list with the names on it. 
and that's who we have to send. Out of that 20, three of those is going to be for a BAT, breathalyzer. From what we have recently found out, if I call you about the breathalyzer, you have to go immediately straight to them to do that. There's no waiting. It's automatic. For us about that breathalyzer, just to give y'all an idea, everybody knows Kentucky state law, without a CDL, the legal limit for alcohol is 0.08, which is equivalent to one beer. As a CDL holder, it's 0.04. Under KDE, as a school bus driver, it's .02. That's basically three ounces of a beer. Also under that, just so you know, when you get off your route in the morning, and you go out and you have between that time until 2.30, if you go and take an early lunch and you decide you're gonna have a beer, and you think, well, I've got an hour, before I have to go back, or a couple hours, it'll be out of my system. Nope. KD says if you have anything to drink and you still have any driving time for the rest of the day, you're done. You can't drive. So if you get caught doing that, odds are, well, there ain't no odds, you'll be, you'll be released. That's an immediate firing. KDE says you can't drive for them for five years. Laura County says you, you're done for life. You cannot come back to work. Again, I'll be sending out text or reminds when it comes time for you to come for your license, physicals, whatnot. Of course, y'all know when y'all hear me on the radio, hey, come see me. Y'all pretty much already know what that means. For physicals, for August, I've got three. I'm pretty sure they know already who the three are. And then I got two that need to get their license done. On your license, I'll send you a message and tell you, hey, you're in your window to go get your license. Please let me know when you're gonna go down there. I, have, I can submit your self-certification. That way it's already done. Because if you get down there and they have to do it, I'm pretty sure there's a charge on it to have them do your self-certification. And then it may be 15 days before they even get it submitted. So then you're in limbo. I can usually send it to Frankfurt and get a reply back within 24 hours. I'm pretty sure, I think it's pretty much everything that I had. What about the 60-day Oh, yeah, yeah, Listen. Frankfurt automatically sends out a letter to y'all about y'all's physicals. It comes from Frankfurt saying that you're in your 60-day window. Do not panic about that letter. Until you hear from me, don't worry about that letter. It's automatic. It's automatically generated and sends it out. I'm going to let you know, of course, most people complain about it, about losing 15 to 25 days off their physical. That's because we do them in office. She comes usually on the last Friday of the month, except for this month. She'll be there on the 23rd. Don't panic about that letter. I'm going to let you know well in advance, hey, do you want to come to the office and do it, or do you want to just go ahead and go to Dog Patch and get it done? Because I've got two right now, and I think both of them are going to dog patch before. Well, I've got one, and he's going to go today. <laughs> and I got another one due at the end of the month. So, does anybody have any questions about their license, the physicals, having to go do urine? Speeding ticket, you're supposed to do it within 24 hours. 
let us know. Or Rob, yeah. Definitely out of state. You have to get that taken care of. It will eventually catch up with you. If I find out some legal things, I'll have to take action. Yes. Listen, and we've had that come up with some people who've tried to get hired, who have forgot about a speeding ticket from 15 years ago, and it popped on them. Because if you don't go to court and take care of that speeding ticket, they issue you out a bench warrant. And once you get a bench warrant, which will follow you until they pick you up again, you will be arrested and taken to jail. If you get a speeding ticket or any violation, get that taken care of immediately. And let us know 24 hours. If you were to go out and probably, if you were to go out and get a DUI, you might as well just come in and resign. Anybody else got any questions? All right.